What's going on guys? Brandon K and B Frenchies back with a quick video while I'm letting these guys play outside for a little bit. Actually for the first time. They've been outside before, but this is the first time that I've let them actually be outside and kind of hang out and chill out. It's uh pretty much an overcast day, so I was like, there's no better day like like today to go ahead and let them stretch their legs a little bit as much as possible but still careful i don't let them just run free in the yard yet you know just because of potential stuff in the grass you never know so i keep them confined to this area that i know is safe but anyways man the point of the video talk about rare colors man not too long ago, maybe a couple years back, rare colors were these, the double chocolates, or even just chocolates, man, but the double chocolates, um, Isabella, all that stuff, Merle, all the exotic colors we know today, those were the rare colors. But I'm telling you now, the tide's gonna turn to where those are the common colors. Everybody's gonna have Merle on their yard, Isabella, lilac all that stuff everybody's gonna have it man even fluffy everybody's gonna have that stuff man it's it's gonna man don't flip the water over it's because it's gonna come a time let's put it over here there's gonna come a time where standard colors are going to be the rare colors mark my word Standard colors are gonna be the rare colors, man, because there's no one really breeding standard colors right now. Everybody that I know of chasing color, and that's all fine, but you can't forget standard colors. You don't know how many people actually come to me and ask if I have just a standard fawn, uh, a brindle, cream, just standard colors, man. So when people say that, think that everything's going exotic and stuff like that, well, you're gonna, you guys are gonna just, your water's almost gone now. I gotta fill it back up. Anybody that think that the game is going exotic, it is for now, but trust me, it will go back to standard, standard and structure. Once everybody has the color they want, trust me, it's going to go back to where now the rare colors are standard colors. You, will, you wouldn't believe how hard it is to find just a solid blue, good looking Frenchie nowadays. Everything has something. It's either a Merle, a blue Merle, a Isabella, Lilac, like just, it's hard to just find a straight, just, blue Frenchie or cream or or fawn or anything like that or brindle but man that's the only thing I wanted to really touch on today was how the game is going to turn and exotic colors <coughs> eating grass can't eat the grass how exotic colors are going to become the common colors and standard colors are gonna become the rare colors. I already, I already see it. But I mean, whatever you choose to do, however you choose to breed, just stick to your game plan, man. I'm not telling, I'm not trying to convert anybody over. I'm not trying to tell anybody how to breed. Stick to your guns. You gonna stop eating the grass, huh? You gonna stop eating the grass, huh? Huh? Yeah, start eating the grass. Hmm. Yeah, but that's all I got. We do still have one pup available. This pup right here, Leon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's still available. This pup right here, Black Brindle Male. He's still available. We're doing a deal on that guy. So if you haven't found a pup yet, or you're still looking for a pet for the family, please get at us.
The number will be in the description box below. Contact us today, because we're sure that once people find out about the deal we're running on this man, he's going to be gone. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.